Hello, this is Dr. Charmaine Gregory and this is the Nocturnist Diary. Today is the last of the series that I have been covering over the last couple of days talking about how to be great um, and how to sequester your 2% and pay attention to self-care. And um, today I'm going to talk about turning your fail failures into victories, okay? So if we just think for a second about a time when we have failed, so a time when you have failed, uh, I know that you probably can think of several opportunities in which this, which this occurred. So I know for me, uh, I can think of a lot. Um, if we were to really just consider those times and how we felt when we failed, how we looked at the situation, did we look at it as an opportunity to grow? Did we look at it as um, a stopping point for whatever task it was that we were trying to pursue? Uh, it all depends. And how you handle that particular failure is really what is gonna help you to grow or what's really gonna help you to be great. So I wanna talk with you about a failure or failures of mine. Now, you know, when we think about people who are very great, who have done amazing things, we think that we often forget that they have failed multiple times before they get to that point where they've accomplished the goals that they have set out to. Now, if we think about even um, Garrett Morgan and the device that he invented that we use every single day, which is a stoplight, had he stopped at his first prototype failure, he would not have been able to bring his invention to patent in 1923 and have it be such an amazingly impactful thing that is worldwide. So he didn't stop at failure. He took his failure and he turned it into uh, a tool for learning how to improve upon the thing that he was inventing. The other failure that I, that I think about that it's of someone who, had they stopped, we would be really impacted by is Dr. Alexander Fleming. Now he got back from his summer vacation and he came to the lab and he noticed that the Petri dishes were contaminated with this um, overgrowth of um, organism. Had he not looked at it closely and realized that Staph aureus was uh, not growing on those Petri dishes because of this penicillin, then he would not have progressed in order to make that drug. Now he could have just said, oh my goodness, this is just a disaster and I'm going to you know, toss all these Petri dishes. Instead, he took a close look at it and as a consequence of that quote unquote failure, we had an amazing drug that was developed. So the same is true for our lives. No matter how inconsequential you may think your failure is, there's always a lesson that can be learned from it. You can always grow from it. Your character can be built from it. Um, there is definitely a huge amount of growth and learning and greatness that can stem from failing, okay? So I wanna talk about one of my failures. So when I was in my 20s, I had to learn a language that had words that didn't sound anything like any words I'd heard before. And there were so many words. There was a word for things that I saw on a daily basis and thought they were one thing, but they were completely different. And that language was, is called medical jargon. Now, I could have decided that this was just too much, I can't learn this language, this is not gonna work out. But instead, no matter how many times I had to make mnemonics and think of um, songs for my anatomy class and you know, just to make sure that I could put the correct appellation to the correct body part, it just allowed me with each failure to improve upon the process and be able to learn the language, which I use today on a daily basis effortlessly. So that's one example. Another example of failure is, in my, pers in my personal life, is that over the course of about four years, I ended up having three beautiful children. Um, <clears throat> and as a consequence, even though I stayed active, there was a huge lag in between where I just did not get back to the level of activity and the level of fitness uh, in between each child. And so um, I thought that after my third child that I could just jump into running 5K races without much training and um, that was abysmal failure. What ended up happening was yes, I did finish the races, but I ended up hurting my knee. I hurt my right knee and despite 
the, you know, there was no lack of trying. There was a uh, multiple ultrasounds that were done. There, there was an MRI that was done. There were several times that my knee got tapped for fluid that was tested, and still the diagnosis was not attainable. And so, you know, I pressed on, and it wasn't until we actually decided to go to the operating room and take a look inside my knee and found out that my knee was you know there was a lot of debris in there and it was the cartilage was broken down and my meniscus was actually torn that I was able to get relief and recover now in that time what ended up happening was I was not as active because my leg was swollen all the time and my mobility in my knee was decreased and so I ended up losing pretty much 50% of the muscle mass of my right quad and um, very disappointing as that as I lost muscle in my leg my girth was increasing and my clothing size was also increasing so as you can well imagine after recovering from surgery and figuring out the problem and fixing the problem I came to realization that this failure that has occurred needs to turn into a victory so I decided to just take one day at a time start making time making my two percent become a reality and moving more regularly and because of doing this um we have been able to as a family become much more well and much more fit so um you know not only was that experience that turned a failure into a victory and which is now as i look back is actually an anniversary of about two years now that i have been on this fitness journey and i've maintained um the weight loss and the fitness level which is absolutely incredible and amazing because i still can't believe it when i look at pictures from back then but um i say all this to say because you know that one decision that one failure that was a decision to change made a big difference in not only my life but my children's life my husband's life people around me who have been able to to get to grab hold of their two percent and start moving more and changing their wellness pattern it's just been a ripple effect that i never would have imagined would be possible so i say all this to you because i know that you have a failure right now this to this day you have a failure that you can turn into a victory so i would love for you to take that failure whatever it is write it down and come up with a plan for how you you are going to fail forward and make this a victory okay so as this is a long long share but this i just wanted to let you guys know that i believe in you i know that you can be strong be brave and unleash your greatness this is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is The Nocturnist Diary.